Well, hey, everybody. Happy spring. We're getting great weather, and uh, I want to do almost like a state of the union for the market here. We have had a lot of knowledge gained um, from our team. Buyers, it's a tough market. It's going to continue to be a tough market because it's all about inventory. You've got a very low amount under one month of inventory. What does that mean? Normal would be three to six months of inventory. When you're seeing that, that's kind of a normalized or a equalized market between a buyer and a seller. Right now, we're not seeing that. When you're at a month or less, it's a seller's market, okay? Unfortunately. But there is some positivity behind some of this. So I, I, want, I want you guys to hear this. So David Batney, um, he's the he looks at treasury bonds and all that. So the 10 year treasury bond, It's been rising since 2020, and that's due to inflation. Um, when you have that period, he said, that's the reason we haven't seen in 2024, is it because inflation has not come down at the pace that they wanna see it come down. It's kind of stagnant, it kind of has been holding, right? And that's why you see adjustments in the rates for us on the interest rate side, right? For real estate. He thinks Q4 of the end of 24, you're gonna see some kind of a rate reduction. He's not sure the size, but it won't be massive. He thinks it's a quarter point to maybe a half point at the most. Then he said 20, 25 is really where he thinks a lot of that's gonna happen because again, all the inflationary numbers, economic numbers are coming in. And he really feels that we're gonna see between 2025 20, and the end of 25 going into 26, there's gonna be about a one point reduction. So just think about where we are right now, 6.7. If we lose, let's say a half a point, like he said, we're low six is six and a quarter. You've just now gained a couple hundred dollars a month back in that interest rate, right? That just that half point. If it goes a whole point, you're meaning like five and a half to five, two. Holy cow, watch out. <laughs> the market is already unbelievable and prices are still six to 8% above where they were last year it will, I think, blow the top off of the market and, and prices are probably gonna go more insane, right? So, but that's gonna open a lot of things. People are gonna feel like moving. They're gonna move from their 3.5 interest rate to a five. That's not as bad as a jump as it is if it goes three points higher to six, seven, five, right? So I think it's gonna open the market a lot. Look at this. They called this the wealth gap difference. So the wealth gap difference is if you took a house, the same three bedroom, two bath, either house or condominium or whatever example you wanna use, just say three bed, two bath, home. And one was a renter, year one, and one was a purchaser. Now the, the black line is I have that mortgage of 2,500 for 30 years, right? You see my notes, it's 20% down at a $500,000 house was be $2,500 and the $2,500 rent, right? Every single year, if your rent goes up 6%, which is the average around here in the Dane County area, then you'd raise from $2,500 and in 10 years, it'd be a little over $4,000 a month. Same home, didn't change. But if I owned a mortgage, it'd still be 2,500, right? It didn't change. But I can always go down because if the rates go down, I get to refinance, right? So this is just assuming all things held straight, but it probably won't happen. If it does, just a loan in that little example, it's over $50,000 in equity, in wealth difference between the renter and the homeowner. And that's just because I took the amortization schedule on the buy down on the principal, okay? Now, if you add appreciation, which we know exists, and even if you did something really small, which let's say really conservative is 4% in our market, you're talking $240,000 gain in equity in that home. It'll go to about 740,000 in 10 years, just at 4%, okay? So you're talking almost $300,000 in wealth creation differential between these people. Now, some people are probably gonna get on this video and be like, well, I can't do 20% down, or I only have this much money. It's okay, there's programs on the financing side, whether it's Fred, Freddie, Fannie, WIDA, which is a state run program for financing for first time buyers. There are lots of programs that you don't have to have 20% and you can still get in on the market. Cause I think if you have this, 2024 is gonna be the next 10 year run like it was in 2014 when the market took off from the recession from 2008 through 2010. And then it took about that four years to rebalance itself. 
So I think we're in the next 10 year cycle where we're going to see the, a massive shift of wealth creation. So anyways, it wasn't just me saying it. It was a couple of directors that work at the federal government that have their hands on policy. They also believe this is the next 10 year cycle. Number of new buyers in the market since March of last year to March of this year, up 20%. That tells you how interested buyers are in the market. So sellers, listen to that. If you're, if you're even thinking about it, buyer activity is already super high. Median price for single family homes is up 9%, 9% since last year, since March of 23 to March of 24, 9%. That's a massive jump. Sing, uh, condos, even bigger. 12.8% for that same period of time. 12.8. That's insane. All right. One thing that really shocked me because sales were down total from 22 to 23. Sales are dead even year to date. 1,069 this year, year to date. It was 1,077. So a few off, but in our world, statistically, that's a, that's a dead even race. Total number of listings listed. Same. Two in uh, 2022, which was a faster paced market with more listings, we have I almost again, identical inventory. 1,741 homes already listed this year, 1,789 in 2022, okay? The reason I share those numbers, I wanna say that there's starting to be that increase in inventory and stuff being out there. Now, houses are disappearing quickly. They're quickly disappearing under seven days in some areas. Right now, the average is seven days. That's the same as it was in 2022. So if you see a house and it's there, get in it, get to it right away because it's gonna be sold. Two hottest markets in Dane County, meaning in terms of price. There's other hot, hot markets in terms of like how, how many sales, but these are the two hottest price points. Verona, average sale price, 579,000. Middleton, 520,000. It's an amazing jump uh, to see because if you look five years ago, they weren't anywhere close to that. Um, some things that I'm going to share here that I also want to make a point is even with the rates increasing from 2021 to 2024, values have increased 28%. April of 21 to April of 2024, 28% growth in value on property. And if you look at that same period of time last year, April to this year, April, already recorded 7.8% increase in valuation. I hope you enjoyed this information. We're trying to make more and more of these kind of posts so that you guys can understand the market, get a better feel for it. If you got something specific about your house that you wanna know about your neighborhood or your home or how it's doing in that area, you can always hit us up with those messages. You know, we're sending this only out to our clients and we want you guys to know more and more about it so that you can feel confident to talk about it you can refer people these videos. If you want to forward these videos over to them and give them a little bit more knowledge, feel free to do that, especially if they're thinking about buying, selling, investing, any one of those things, but let us know. Uh, last but not least, again, we're helping a lot of clients. It's coming in all different avenues. We have a property investment uh, part of our company that's beyond just buying and selling. We also do property management along with that. Uh, that's either in short term, which it could be Airbnb, it could be longer term, which is just your one or two year type leases. So just ask us those kind of questions because we want to help and we want your help. We want your help to introduce us to really great people uh, because we, we enjoy being around you guys. All right. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.